Hey guys, Tanny Gamer 4 k here. Today we're going to be going over a few Battlefield 4 tips that I've picked up recently. And as you can see, I got my first RPG heli kill. Yay and ta-da. I know that I'm a pleb, I know that it happens all the time, but I don't care because it's the first time I've ever done it and it made me excited. The weapon loadout I'll be using is an AK-5C with a target detector, heavy barrel, and the reflex sight. And as for the sidearm, I'm running a deagle with a ghost ring, heavy barrel, and whatever camo I felt like running on the both of them. My job throughout this entire round was to protect A. Every time I left, it would start to blink, and the one time I didn't go back, it got capped. My team was being very effective capping the other points, so I just kept defending A, and it buffed out in the end. PTFO, as X-Factor would say. So I recently switched over to Carbines, and running primarily Engineer. Coming from a more of an Assault background, having those med packs and everything, I have to say that I love that, however I love the Engineer more. The versatility of the loadouts make the Engineer very good in just about every situation you could encounter. My favorite carbine at the moment is the AK-5C, and running with the target detector, it's really quite enjoyable. I had no idea the power of the target detector until I started using it. There have been more than a few times where an enemy had been in a dark corner or off hiding somewhere, and as soon as I aimed down the sights, he popped up. It saved my butt a couple times. The one interesting thing that I started doing recently, and I don't really see that many other players doing it, and I'm not sure why, is treating each area as a smaller map. If you try and think about the entire maps in uh, Battlefield 4 as a single stage, you're never going to be able to really effectively move around them. And what I mean by that is, if you think about this giant map, you're like, okay, I'm on A, I need to get all the way to E, I'm just going to run to E you're gonna die. You're gonna get mowed down by either a sniper or somebody else just, you know, watching a corner or something like that. The thing that really is the most effective way to move around is either spawn as close as possible or cut the map down into much smaller maps, check your corners and move around more effectively. Whenever you're just running and gunning, you will get gunned down. For more tips and tricks, make sure you go over to Rival X Factor's YouTube channel and subscribe to him. He has a ton of good stuff on Battlefield 4 as well as a couple other shooters. Well guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I appreciate you guys taking a look. If you liked my content and like this video, make sure you subscribe. Thank you. See you again.